everyone seems to be talking about disruption at the moment. It seems to be this buzzword, but a lot of people don't tend to actually know where it came from. It originated in the mid-90s with a professor at Harvard called Clayton Christensen. He, he deemed it uh, disruptive innovation. And what he was really talking about in the most simple version is when a new technology or radical new approach enters the market, it enters at the bottom of the market, right? Where hardly anyone's interested in it. Now the established companies, you know, the established incumbents, ignore these new technologies and approaches because their existing customers are saying, well, we're not interested in those features or it's lower quality. But what happens is these new technologies grow in scale and influence over time and in many cases surpass the old systems. And by this stage, it's too late for the established incumbent to do anything about it. And this is why it's the key dilemma for every business. Because just when you think you're doing everything right, just when you've got the organisation running as efficiently and effectively as you can, even when you're at the peak of your success, in fact, especially when you're at the peak of your success, this is exactly the same point where you're most vulnerable. So a lot of people believe that the answer to the innovator's dilemma is to get better at spotting and reacting, right? So the attitude is, well, we're not going to be the lazy incumbent, you know, ignoring all these new technologies and approaches. We're going to find a way to be aware of them. Now, that's a step in the right direction. However, if you've only got a spot and react strategy to change, you're potentially making the issue worse because what it means is you're only addressing the most obvious symptoms of the problem, which is removing your motivation to get down and address the underlying fundamental cause or need for change. So far better than just having a spot and react strategy to all this disruptive change is to encourage the organisation and the leadership to literally be the disruptive change, lead the disruptive change, be the ones that take your segment category or industry into its next generation. That's the real challenge for disruptive leadership and disruptive innovation.